Introducing the 2019-2 Schrodinger release. Let's take a brief look at some of the new features and enhancements. The measure tool now supports distance, angle and dihedral measurements involving Pharmacophore features. Measurements can be made with a single hypothesis or across multiple hypothesis entries. Measurements can even be made between features and atoms. And all measurements will appear in the measurements table. A new binding site surface type known as an interaction map is available from the Create Binding Site Surfaces panel. Unlike a standard molecular surface, which can often give an illusion of available space surrounding a ligand, unless of course the ligand is represented in CPK or displayed with its own molecular surface, the interaction map, based on a contoured site map grid, allows the ligand to remain in the preferred ball and stick or tube representation while still providing a realistic sense of any available space within the binding site. The Get PDB panel now provides options to include diffraction data and the biological unit in the download. Over in the FEP Plus panel, a new Map Info button can alert users to potential issues with an FEP map. Here we can see the health status of the receptor and ligands, the type of FEP map, if any cycles of the map have high hysteresis, in this example there is, so note the advice to further investigate the issue. If hot atom selection exceeds the accepted maximum limit, if the FMPDB archive information is present, and any issues about the map topology, such as whether there are completely disconnected nodes, or if nodes are not part of a full cycle, as in the case here, along with a suggestion to fix the issue. Also in the FEP Plus GUI, one can easily search and filter down a set of molecules simply by sketching out the substructure in a 2D sketcher. While under the hood, the GCMC water sampling has been switched on by default to prevent issues where water molecules in deeply buried pockets cannot exchange efficiently with bulk solution. In the R group enumeration panel, an expanded collection of R group libraries is now available, with the default set to over 2,000 diverse R groups derived from E molecules, and some smaller sets of R groups, including ring decorations and more focused R group libraries like R groups for displacing a water. All of these R groups can be reviewed in the R group creator panel. Here, they can also be copied over to your personal collection of R groups where they can be further modified and expanded. While over in the reaction-based enumeration wizard, property and or smarts filtering can now be applied to each individual reactant in addition to the final product. Also worth noting is how easy it is to use the curated standard smart filters. These filter criteria are often necessary as many building blocks can contain more than one reactive group compatible with roots with multiple steps. When creating a shape data file for GPU shape screening, roughly two times less disk space is required even with 3D conformers now stored by default. And finally, over in NIME, it is now possible to set up Glide Ligand Docking settings in Maestro, write them to File, and then with the Glide Ligand Docking node, read the settings from File, restoring the same configuration settings that were set up in the panel. These are just some of the new features in the 2019-2 Schrodinger release. As always, for more information, visit schrodinger.com slash new features.